knowledge tell ABC News that former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort and one of his associates, Rick Gates, have been told to surrender to federal authorities today. This is fruits of special counsel Bob Mueller's five-month investigation into whether anyone from the Trump campaign colluded with the Russians in the 2016 presidential election. George, we believe that this is tied to whether his financial dealings were somehow uh, tied to Russians, uh, not directly related to the collusion issue, but we're waiting to find out what the specific charges yeah, are. We know George. he had business relations with Russians for many years before he and Rick Gates joined the campaign. I want to bring in John Carl right now. John, this may explain some of the tweet storms we've been seeing from President Trump over the last few days. This is big. This was a man who was President Trump's campaign manager back in 2016, and Rick Gates was an instrumental deputy in the campaign as well. This is a big deal. He was the chairman of the campaign, George, somebody uh, instrumental in Trump clinching the Republican nomination, ran the Republican convention for then uh, nominee Donald Trump, candidate Donald Trump. Rick Gates is somebody who stayed on the Trump campaign, Trump campaign even after Manafort was fired over the summer and also was with the Trump transition team and the Trump inauguration uh, team. Uh, so this cuts very close, although the charges themselves may be related to Manafort's business dealings and not anything to do with the campaign. It cuts very close to the president. No question about that. And remember, if we go back to the timing last year during the campaign, Manafort actually left the campaign just days after several of these business dealings were revealed, including payments that he may have gotten from Ukraine. Yes, and at the time, I was told by senior officials on the campaign that was very much uh, part of the reason that, that Manafort was fired. Not the only reason, but a big part of, the, of why Manafort was fired because of that cloud. Uh, but George, uh, this is a uh, this is a big deal. Although I, I have to tell you, the Trump legal team in advance of this has made it clear that even if something like this were to come down, this is not a surprise uh, that Manafort would be would be at the top of Mueller's list for an indictment. But the argument from the legal team is that even if this were to come down, that it would uh, not necessarily have anything to do, or wouldn't in their view have anything to do with the Trump campaign or with the president. Well, that, that, that's, that's clearly what they would say, but you know, one of the things we've learned with all of these investigations, all these special counsel investigations, they start in one place, often end up someplace very different. No question, and you're starting at a place that is incredibly close to the President of the United States. This was the chairman of his campaign. And uh, Rick Gates, not as major a figure in the campaign, but a prominent figure in the Trump campaign, who stayed even after uh, Manafort was fired. Okay, I want to bring back Pierre Thomas for a little more on this as well. Pierre, we know that Special Counselor Mueller, again, we don't know all the details of these charges specifically right now, but we know he's hired a team that includes experts in money laundering. Uh, these are experts in money laundering, white collar crime, people who have experience in taking down uh, members of the mafia, organized crime. And George, let's uh, give a little bit of perspective here. Uh, Manafort has been in the crosshairs for months. Back in August, the FBI conducted a raid at his uh, residence in Alexandria. They showed up inside of his apartment uh, with a SWAT team, tactical team, to collect the evidence. It was a clear sign that he was someone that they had intense interest in and that this was serious business. And, and, and Pierre, on his own, Manafort is a pretty big fish, the chairman, as John Carl said, of, of Donald Trump's campaign. But the question would be now, after this indictment, do they use that pressure to get him to talk about other activities in the campaign, to get him to talk about the president? Again, this, we believe, is tied to financial dealings. Um, you are required under federal law, if you're acting as a foreign uh, agent for a foreign government, to notify federal officials of your activity. We know that uh, Manafort amended uh, some of his records to indicate uh, some work that he had been done. Uh, those cases aren't typically always prosecuted, but in this case, with the stakes being this high, the man has been under incredible uh, scrutiny, and now he's going to place face pressure like he's never seen before, George. The first charges are in from Special Counsel Robert Mueller. First charges filed against Trump campaign chair.